Now, you may think that I'm raising this document before you, this, this, this plan for how to kill health care, and that maybe it doesn't have any bearance on the real debate here, but it absolutely does. These talking points are being echoed in this very chamber, in this very chamber, in order to kill health care. Let's see. Well, here we go. Frank Luntz memo. That's his memo on how to kill health care. Came out in April. It says, talking point number five, health care denial horror stories from Canada and other countries do resonate, but you have to humanize them. You'll notice we recommend the phrase government takeover rather than government run or government controlled. Why? Because government takeover sounds even scarier. So what did we hear on the floor of this chamber from our minority leader just recently? I quote, Americans are concerned about a government takeover of health care, and for good reason. And it goes on. So recognize that that is a point that's coming from a document about how to kill health care, not a responsible debate about the plan we have in front of us. Or let's take a look at another example, Frank Luntz's memo. His memo, talking points three and four. Time is a government health care killer. Nothing else turns people against government takeover of health care than the expectation that this plan will result in delayed and denied treatment. The arguments against the plan, now note that this is about a plan that wasn't written, it's about any plan put forward. The arguments against this plan must also center around politicians, bureaucrats in Washington. Note the emphasis on saying that the plan will result in delays and denied treatment. And what have we heard on the floor of this chamber from the minority leader? We have heard just recently, and I quote, Americans don't want to be forced by bureaucrats, that comes right out of those talking points, to give up their private health care plan to be pushed into a Washington-run government plan, right out of those talking points. They don't want to wait two years for surgery, and they don't want to be told they're too old for surgery. All of this, straight out of this roadmap. My friends, it is res irresponsible. In the face of 50 million Americans without health care, with working Americans in every one of our states going bankrupt as they struggle with health care expenses, it's irresponsible to utilize a roadmap of rhetoric that comes from polling about how to scare people. That's irresponsible. What we need to do today is lay out a plan on how we can create affordable, accessible health care for every single American.